One word. Volimore. There's so much to explore with this latest expansion. I've been busy getting clapped at just one place called the Fortis Coliseum there. After two plus days of Coliseum, I managed to get the best KD ratio I've ever had in any RuneScape PVM encounter. Completing the Coliseum once granted me the, the Zana's Quiver, the new best in slot range kit, which makes my ranged weapons even stronger. So what's next? A bit of context, I've been doing lots of clues lately as stacking caskets and opening them for collection log has been really fun. With the release of Volamore, Jagex added new clue steps for most clues including the Elite and Master tier. Jagex is brutal this time around with these new steps as they included a full Fanatic outfit set for the Elite clue step and a full Moon set for a Master clue step, all new items that you can get in Volamore PVM content. Fanatic comes from the Colosseum and the Blue Moon set comes from the Perilous Moon's bosses. I want to make sure I can do every step so the plan is to continue grinding Colosseum till full Fanatic so I can maximize my elite clue completion rates. Scratch that though, we only need one Fanatic piece as they just changed that step meaning I actually don't have to rush for the full set, just one. Afterwards, I will be camping Perilous Moons for the Blue Moon set for the Master step. Also, I need 150,000 Sunfire Splinters to permanently upgrade the Dazana Quiver for better stats. So, Coliseum Grinding Tell Fanatic piece is perfect as I can kill two birds with one stone. Also, there's a new ranged weapon called the Tolnal Sticks of Ralos and the pets I could get as well. It is time to grind out for the Fanatic armor piece and of course try to improve the Coliseum so I don't die so much and see what other surprises awaits us at the Fortis Coliseum. All right, I'm just gonna play it safe, you know? I'm not gonna really evolve my setup or anything. Until I can do the boss reliably with much less food, then I will change my setup. But I think this is like a really good setup. Wait, some of these are permanent, right? Shit. Yeah, dang, that sucks. I've already used that one then. Oh no. Oh, no way, dude. That's ridiculous. Never tried uh, Flare 2, but it's not bad. So, Mission recommended this one, so I'll take his word for it. The Solar Flare penalty is actually really, really good for uh, the waves and for the boss. I initially thought Solar Flare, the movements of those flares was random, which is why I was like, no way I would ever pick those. But it's actually not random. It's very predictable. It moves in a square route at the boss fight and there's four of them right so they each take up one section of the square map so if you mark the tiles of where the flares move then you can basically dodge them 100 of the time or generally speaking if you just fight the boss in the middle of the arena or in the middle halves of the arena then you won't get hit by it but yeah i almost lost this fight because i didn't know about that yes yes oh my god that's good loot. Nice, 2,000 splinters, 140 something thousand to go. I'm gonna save a bunch of them first before I gamble. Oh my God. Oh, yes. Oh, ah, uh, fudge. Uh, it's, the oh fuck. Good thing I saved up. Oh, what? What I can do is I can separate them. It looks like I can't separate them, but I actually can. There we go. See? And then you can get a double heal. Oh, I got it. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a really good PB, though. Holy. That's a lot faster than before. Holy. Damn, that's all the loot I get is the Sunfire Splinter. Damn, that was 27, almost 27,000 glory, though. Alright, we're back at the boss. Let's see what we're getting. Oh shit, Echo Crystal. Frailty. Uh, Totemic. Man. Relentless. Enemies never miss and hit an extra 3 damage. I'd rather not risk Totemic. Uh, it's a little sketchy last time. Alright, I'll pick Relentless too. Fuck it. But I'm just trying to kill it now. Yes! Oh, got him. Oh! 2KC and I got the Echo Crystal. Let's go. Holy... And the splinters were good. 
All right, guys, we still have a decent amount of blood shards from when I AFK the virus a long time ago. So I got six right now and uh, I'm being very frugal with it. I'm only really using it during the boss fight and during times when I kind of have to emergency heal. I am bringing a torture. So that's my main amulet. Oh, I got it. Let's go. That was so nice. Nice. Oh, only 400 splinters. I wish you get more for completing it guaranteed, but it's still RNGSL. Ooh, nice. Let's go. Nice. Okay, Sword Flare 2 isn't so bad now that I've gotten used to it, but screw the explosion. Screw you. But we're eating up the bruise, and that's what we get. Oh, 3,000 splinters. Let's go. That's huge. Yes, we got it. Let's go. Oh, that was scary, though. Oh, my God. We got how many splinters? Ah, oh, there we go. 22k and 9 kills. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, man. We'll take that. Good progress. We got 4 KC today. Oh, oops. God dang it. I wasn't. Oh, what? And what the hell hit me there? Dude, I got dragged onto the wall. Okay, that's uh, that's stupid. I got hit by a melee guy again. Oh, I got him. Nice. All right, cool. That was a that felt really good. I definitely did the best mechanically at this fight so far. Double digits and 5,750 goddamn splinters, man. That's so good. Oh my god, not again, dude. Okay, just one Minotaur. Nice. How about that from uh, for being far away? There we go. Oh, such a good spawn. Holy shit. Oh, let me grab that. Nice. Okay, we have a lot of food, so that's really nice. And we're at the end. Oh, oh my god. Nani? No. Oh, Totemic. Oh, you suck, bro. Holy shit, we got this, but... Dang. Not good ones, though. We don't have good ones. We don't have good penalties, but I have experience with Totemic. So, um, as long as I save up like crazy, I should be okay. Oh my god. We can get this, though. The freaking Glaive of Ralos, the uh, spec weapon. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll definitely pick Totemic, because I don't want to be 60 HP. Oh, that's gonna... Oh, it's scary. Oh, I got it. Yes, bro. We freaking got it. We played that so nice at the start, but I started getting nervous. Oh, holy. We take this. Oh, my God. We got this new item, bro. The, the, why didn't they call it the Grave of Rallos? I guess people kept complaining that a glaive is not a ranged weapon, but we got it. The, the freaking testicle Rallos. Oof. That's four kills today, and we got a new item. Let's go. I cannot wait to mess with this. And there's still so much progress left, so make sure you guys grab a bite before continuing. Or if you need some grub, check out this quick segment. How often do you guys order food online due to things like wanting to spend more time gaming or lack the energy to cook a good meal? Well, today's sponsor, Factor 75, is a great service for you. Factor 75 is a meal subscription service that provides freshly cooked and deliciously tasting food. It is healthier than fast food and typically costs less than ordering food online. You can choose between 35 plus weekly meals that are delivered to you fresh and never frozen. The meals offered cover many dietary preferences like vegan and keto. Simply place the food in the microwave for two minutes and your factor meal is ready. It really is that simple. I had the herb crusted chicken with mashed cauliflower and toasted almond green beans for dinner and it was tender, delicious and filling. It's really nice to know that I have more time to focus on grinding Fortis Coliseum and working on videos without the time consuming food prep thanks to Factor 75. Click the link below and use the code on screen to get 50% off your first Factor box and also 20% off next month's order too or use the QR code on screen. Multiply your productivity today with a Factor 75 meal box. Thank you for listening. I'm definitely going to cover this more in detail in a future video when I go explore with it. But generally speaking, it's really good at lowering the fence of enemies that have really high magic. So things like the Maiden boss in Theater Blood and like Ice Team in Chambers, uh, Ohm Head in Chambers, for example, really good. So yeah, it's a really nice range defense reduction weapon. Look out for it in the future.
Come on, give me the kill. Yes. Oh, God. Let's go. We did the back to back. First time ever. Ah, okay. Screw the explosion. Whatever. I'll, I'll just accept the fact that I'm never going to dodge the explosion. But. Oh, let's go. The back to back. In order to make my Coliseum experience a lot nicer and quicker in the long run, I should learn how to sight as many of the monsters as possible in as many situations as possible in the Coliseum because the scythe is the best overall weapon at pretty much almost every monster in the Coliseum but the catch is that the scythe is a melee weapon so you have to really be careful with how you run up towards the monsters because sometimes you can accidentally get dragged out of your safe spot and die like in this example here so it's going to be a bit of a learning process but once I figure it all out it's going to be worth it yeah, we still need to drag this guy, but damn, I took too long. I should probably mark this tile that I need. So that way we don't ever mess it up. I think it's around here. I have to lure the Minotaur away from the rest of the monsters because it will heal whatever monster gets damaged, like, instantly. Okay. Fuck, yeah, we got it. Got him nice hell yeah okay we've already got a kc okay that's really good that's a lot faster than uh, yesterday that's for sure and the other day so we'll take that currently you can trade in quivers for a chance at a pet but also now jagex added another option where you can trade in quivers for four thousand splinters i'm gonna hold on to the extra quivers for now because i'll just wait till i get my first ever frenetic piece We'll decide what I'll do with it once I get the Fnatic, because if I'm already close to getting the upgraded Dishonest Quiver without having to train Quivers, I'll keep it, and then I'll just use it to trade it in for the pet chance. Go, 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 please. Oh. Yeah, that's why you gotta conserve my supplies, because, man, sometimes, dude, it's it's just... Whoa, what? you saw that? I got sent flying, but hell yeah, that was clutch. Holy, this is why I gotta conserve food. We're not there yet. We're just not there yet. I don't think I can reach it. Yeah, no, I knew I can reach it. Oh, this is good, though. This is good. I got it. Yes! <laughs> Alright, because I didn't want the ranger to hit me there, so we managed a, a nice play there. Oh my god, relentless. Yo, this is so nice, man. That's so good. Because the boss is going to hit me anyway, so... Uh, even if, if I make a mistake. Oh, that's so nice for the first time. Nice! And some more splinters. Let's go. Oh, nice. There we go. Much better. Definitely trolled a bit, but... Nice. Okay. 4,000 splinters. Mm, honestly, I'm so motivated to see those big-ass splinters. Oh, 50k! We are cruising, man. Let's go. Oh, that was so clean. Let's go. And we got a new PP as well. We'll take it. Hell of supplies. Uh, if we can keep doing this this way, like this clean, like this whole day, then I definitely might consider bringing some more gear switches. Also, glory PP. Makes sense, though. I didn't make that many mistakes. Oh, my God. No. Oh. Oh, that's so unlucky. The Minotaur. You saw that? Ah, oh, nice. Oh, my God. Totem and that all that other bullshit. Nice. We've got, definitely gotten a lot better. Except dodging at the explosion. I don't think I've gotten much better at that, but it's okay. Big tip for those of you guys doing Coliseum. So, you're going to be using the Northwest Pillar the most as the standard strap. But sometimes there's just simply too many monsters stacked on the east side. And sometimes you're not really sure how you want to flick them with your prayers and block all the attacks. And even if you do know how to do it, sometimes it's just too much work trying to flick all three for continuous periods. And you can make mistakes if you mess up and possibly die. So running south is a really good play here. If you at least know how to off take them for a little bit of time, you can actually run south and block all the attacks or as many as you can. Or simply just tank the attacks with max melee and prey mage usually you can survive but by going south you can basically separate the monsters typically you'll always be able to fight them almost one at a time like the case that i show you here 
And that makes it a lot easier because you only have to flick one thing at a time. You know, a few mistakes here and there, but uh... Holy shit, first sub 30 as well, let's go. Oh, that's such a bad drag, man. Ooh, nice, oh my god. I could have died there. Oh, holy shit. But we got scammed on the splinters. Oh, that was rough. Nice. Okay, that was good. Oh, explosion, I forgot. Run away from the explosion. There we go. Cool. Oh, damn, that was really fast, PB. I PB by quite a lot, actually. Really good start to the day, I guess. You know, PB by like two minutes. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? No. Nice. Oh my god. Let's go. Uh, another 60 HP run cleared. Jesus, man. I keep getting 60 HPs today. 1 KC in under an hour every time. So that's really good. Let's go. Oh, Dragon Arrow Tips. Dang, this, this content actually gives Dragon Arrow Tips. Okay. All right. Well, after today's performance and yesterday's performance, I think we don't really need the safety net anymore of the barrage. I think we're going to switch to the range melee setup. It should definitely be faster, so. But it was fun, though. Mage setup's definitely really nice, though, for, like, those early KCs. I felt really safe. And the only times I died, it's not because of supplies ever, you know? It's just because I just mechanically wasn't good enough yet. We are using dragon arrows because, honestly, this content is hard enough. And it's cool, though. I can bring a blessing with me as well. Actually, I should probably maybe even use Lucky Penny. Save some blood runes. I have to be really careful with myopia because the venator bow range isn't that great like once i get to three it's basically melee distance so the venator bow has been one of the funnest parts about the coliseum because you can utilize it to do optimal damage on certain mobs and you can use it to clear the freemanic warband npcs pretty efficiently especially the major guy two hits of the venerable will basically one shot it if you're potted or you have range gear and that's why i've been using mostly even with my mage setup i was using it to clear the mage warbander NPC. but now with my range setup i can do a lot more than just that i can also clear a bunch of different mobs too like shamans and jaguars if there's more than one of them next to each other i can use the venerable and just do a lot of extra damage and you can also string it together with like other npcs that are larger Although trickier, like the Manticores and the Colossus Javelin users. But it's been fun learning how to utilize it and maximizing it. Hell yeah, that was pretty clean. I think instead of a blessing, I might just go Lucky Penny, for real. Because I can save the Blood Runes instead. Yeah, I think I'll stick with this overall setup. It was working pretty good. I always went to the boss so far with good, good supplies, so... Oh, that's sick. I was, I've never been able to do that before. It's like when I Venator Bow, you, you had to wear arrows, right? But now with the Quiver, you can actually wear Lucky Penny and the ammo. So I can save charges on the bow for the first time ever. Nice. Okay, sweet. Another kill. All right. Yeah, okay. The kills on average are definitely a bit faster. That's for sure. Damn, I'm getting scammed so bad though on the Splinters. Getting scammed so bad. Oh, let's go. Nice. Oh, 6 HP sucks, though. So scary. Uh, at least the boss, you know, we, we always be getting better at the boss, regardless. But, uh, yeah, new setups hurting my brain. Oh, I got the Echo Crystal. I didn't even realize. Let's go ahead and do 100 charges. Okay, yeah, there you go. Dang, I'm under 100k blood runes, but it's okay. Remember, we do have Scar Rune Crafting, Assisted Blood Rune Making. That's like 300k blood runes an hour so we're fine and also all this soul runes from you know scar assisted rune crafting again yeah we're just gonna charge this back up there we go just die thank you very much oh my god that was very uh scuffed but whatever 83k let's go oh god i messed up one of the hardest parts about the coliseum is handling two monsters coming from the south at the same time the hard part is stringing, killing the Fruminig Warbands, and then having enough time to flake both of them. If you do this correctly and you go from the middle western tile and then to the northern tile, a lot of the times you can set it up so the two monsters can be off ticked. But sometimes it's not perfect, but if you're not afraid and you keep yourself composed, most of the time you can see that there is ways to perflake both monsters. 
and you can actually deal with it. Oh man! Don't panic. Okay. Don't panic. There we go. We are good. Holy shit. Perfect. Holy shit. I just did a perfect fight. Let's go. But it was kind of lucky though. It was a pretty lucky one. Dude, that was a perfect kill. Let's go. Nice. First time ever I've done perfect. But uh, yeah. Look, oh, this is such a scam though on the splinters. But hey, we'll take it. Yeah, finally. At last, clean. Oh, that's my best glory though. It's probably because I did a clean boss fight. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Nice, that was a pretty clean kill. Oh my god, look at that PB though. Holy shit, sub 25? I did not know we were going that fast. Doom though, Quartet though, 60 HP again. Uh, man, 20, 20 mistakes. It's time for me to try out Doom. I mean, I did do a run where I literally didn't make a single mistake. Yes... Oh, no, don't break my legs. Oh, it's still counted. Wow, I forgot about that, but it's okay. Yes, we only made four mistakes. Okay, that's sick. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're definitely getting a lot better at this content. That's for sure, at the boss. Hell, yeah, let's go. We haven't really seen too many drops, I would say. I thought you might see some more, like, especially Fnatic, but at least with the range base setup, we're getting really comfortable with it now. I did, like, seven kills today in less than six hours, so that's really fast. I would say, at least compared to the last few days. Tomorrow, the Coliseum is getting updated again. And the Echo Crystal and the Fnatic pieces are going to start showing up as soon as Wave 4. If you clear Wave 4, there's a chance you can get it. So you'll see it at Wave 3, but you got to clear Wave 4 to get it. So we'll see. Maybe, I mean, that should objectively increase the odds, right? Ooh, I can pick Doom, actually. Because it resets each wave now. They changed it. And... So that means every wave you can make up to 14 mistakes because on the 15 you die. But I feel like I make less than 15 for sure, like every time now. So I can definitely start picking this, I think. We have uh, some tough decisions here, but with the new changes though, it could be... This could be pretty good. So we have... I'm not going to go for Doom 2 because I feel like 10, 10 mistakes is uh, still kind of close for comfort. But bees though, they do take way longer to spawn now. B Invo definitely got even better than I anticipated because its pathing has become more generous. You can actually stall it indefinitely if you get it trapped behind a pillar because as you can see, it was stuck behind the pillar. I'd probably pick this one if the other two is graciously bad, but I'll probably only pick tier one though. Oh, I got it though. Holy, how many mistakes was that? I had, let's see, five points in Doom by the end of the fight, so... So yeah, it was fine. So basically, I can definitely pick Doom 1. I probably don't want to do Beast too much because it's really awkward. So we've definitely marked some tiles now. I know for sure where the orbs are going. Uh, where is it? Oh, God. That sucked. Damn it. Oh, that was so fucking hard, dude. Jesus. And I almost failed. <laughs> it used to be Southwest Tile, so... Oh, I see. They made the totems completely random where it spawns. And that... Damn, that made it so much harder. Holy shit on the splinters, though. Oh, my God. Yes, that brings us over 100k. Let's go. We're gonna try uh, Manti Mayhem Tier 1. So if I make a mistake, uh, there's double orbs that hit me. So it's gonna be pretty easy to die if we really mess this one up, so... Good luck, us. Holy shit, you see how many zeros? You see how many hit splats that is? Oh my god, look at that. Jesus. Oh my god, if I could skip this, that'd be awesome. No! 
Did I skip it? No way, I was one hit off. Oh wait, I killed it, sick. I actually skipped wave two, that's awesome. All right, sweet, that was worth. Oh damn, 23 minutes? Holy shit, I did not know we were cruising that like that. Rail T1, oh, oh, oh my god, yo, oh, Sunfire, oh my god, finally. Oh, wave eight, it's here. I just gotta not die to it. Oh. Oh my god, yes. Holy shit, it's finally showed up. Almost After almost 50 KC, we finally see it again. Alright, well, we better absolutely not troll this one, because I, I cannot lose this one. Hell yeah, let's go. Sucks that we kind of have to leave. We do have to leave, but... Holy, that's a claim right there, boys. We got it. There it is, the first Sunfire piece, and that means we can do every single... Elite clue freaking step again and praise the sun, my guy. We're getting really close to finishing the upgraded designs quiver, so I'm gonna probably just keep grinding calcium uh, pretty hard until then. We're, we're really close, like 45k. Alrighty, we can finally do this. I can build this dash unit and also put the, the fanatic piece in there. Hell yeah. All right, at the side of the hat, as I'm probably not going to be using it that much since potentially if I'm doing Slayer, I'm going to wear a Slayer helm, right? So, yeah, we're going to put this in here now, and yeah, all the Elite Clues can now be done. There we go, another Echo Crystal. But we need to see how many, uh, oh, hell yeah, 2000, uh, 2000 Splinters, let's go. Really cool. Oh, oh my god. Yo, dude, the top, the Sunfire top today. Oh my god. I, I can't mess this up, though, for real. I absolutely cannot mess this up. Oh my god. Dude, now it's Koei. Now, now I get all the Fnatic pieces. Are you serious? Wow. All the, all the way to 47 KC, and then I start seeing these. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Only one mistake. Dang it. But hey, I'll take it. Let's go, Fnatic body. We got it. We got two pieces today. Oh my god. That's crazy. I'll scam on the splinters, but yo, we got freaking two. Holy shit. That's actually insane. We go we go from nothing in like 40 plus attempts to getting two pieces. What the hell, dude? That's so crazy. Oh my god. Well, let's go. And we got a PB too on the uh on the glory. Hell yo. What is that? 44. 44k, cool. Look how much the top gives right here. 10 double digits. T double digits, man. Oh, damn. It got, I got a lot of defense. It's like rune armor, basically. There we go. The numbers are going up on here. Six out of eight now, so it's just the pet in the legs. Wow, that's that's actually cool. New unique rates hitting hard. Yeah, that's true. The update just hit where stuff like Fnatic and Echo Crystal is a bit more common. Oh, yeah. 50kc. Holy shit. We've gone quite the goals done within 50 kc nice oh oh no way dude no way am i gonna complete this in one day i i mean it's way five four <laughs> dude the sunfire is so much more common than i mean i i think i'm finally just getting rng back dude in other instances of pvm right you, you can get dupes but in the coliseum you can't get dupes until you complete your first set these, these freaking Colossus guys, man, they're so dangerous with their sneaky attacks. And I'm claiming this. Holy shit, dude. The legs are so much more expensive than the top and bottom. But can you believe this? In one day, we freaking completed this. Like, what the heck? Oh, yeah, let me, let me grab this. Wow. That's actually crazy. So, it wouldn't have mattered if it was the full set and they didn't change it. Because I would have actually, uh, would have had the full set anyways. Like, honestly, what is going on? Look at this here. 24 prayer bonus. Just these three items. I'm going to look forward to doing some Slayer with this gear. Outside of clues, that's for sure. Holy. Shout out to the boys. Sweet. Oh, wow. You get... you get <laughs> Another Sunfire Fanatic a piece. Wow, they're so much more common. Hell yeah, we got it. All right, finally. That's 8kc in one day, guys. Yeah, that's AKC in one day. And I can't believe it. We got full Fnatic in one day and an extra and another dupe. Like, what is going on, dude? Holy. Here's the loot I've gone so far, most of it at least. 
in 60 plus coliseums you're gonna see coliseums 50 plus and to whatever i end up getting to fully charge my quiver which i think is around 70 in the next video and uh, also we're gonna be gambling the quivers next video but anyways the loot we've gotten so far it's not too bad it says 400 mil gp at the moment a bulk of it's definitely from the uh ton tall sticks of rallos or whatever i probably said it wrong already and some of the echo crystals miss some of them because day two or the first few days the rune light didn't track it we got a few fanatic pieces all in like the last few days which is hilarious and i think a lot of the money is definitely from the splinters they're actually worth a lot i'm not sure how much they are individually but they definitely make up a bulk of the value lots of onyx bolts lots of alcohols we got some seeds and we got some uh smithing stuff too the uh, earth battle staff earth orbs is interesting the onyx too i actually did get one but you'll see that in the next video and a lot of dragon arrows which is good because i've been using a lot of dragon arrows at this place when i switched to range melee setup so that's really good but yeah that's about it overall pretty decent loot i think it's like five to six mil an hour even without the regular loot if you can do like two runs an hour but that's pretty hard though even i'm having a bit of a hard time doing that but yeah it's really good money it's probably 10 mil plus an hour including the rare loot right now if you're really good at doing this content after doing Coliseum for so long, I now have a pretty good idea of which handicaps you should definitely take, which handicaps that you should probably take based on your preference, and which handicaps you should absolutely avoid. So I made a nice little chart here, personal handicap rankings. So here we go. The ideal ones are definitely Blasphemy 1 to 3, as that just drains prayer instead of your HP. And Fertility 1 and 2 is not too bad because it keeps your HP at 80. And Myopia 1 and 2 is pretty good as you typically don't need that long range, especially if you can trap stuff behind pillars and lower stuff to pillars. And Volatility 1 is pretty easy once you learn how to move two steps away from the enemy that you killed. And the decent ones and also the iffy ones, I would say they're interchangeable. But the decent ones on the right is definitely closer to the iffy side and vice versa. But yeah, Relentless 1, Solar Flare 1 and 2 myopia 3 volatility 2 and 3 reentry relentless is pretty good and doom is pretty good now if you have a lot of coliseum kc like let's say you already know you're not going to make that many mistakes in the coliseum like 20 plus kc pick that one quartet is iffy and or decent because quartet could really ruin runs if there's really bad south spawns often but other than that if you don't have bad south spawns quartet's kind of not that bad the iffy ones are definitely the frailty 3 because they put your HP at 60. Ranchu 2 and 3. Relentless 2. Manti Mayhem 1 and 2. A Doom 1, especially if you are low KC. Dynamic Duo. Solar Fred 3. I feel like those are iffy because of reasons that most of you guys probably already know. And the Avoid ones are definitely Red Flag. The Totem, especially because the Totem spawns in random spots now at the final boss. Doom 2 and 3. B 1 and 3. Manti Mayhem 3, Relentless 3. You could argue B1 is on the iffy side, but honestly, B almost ruined my runs, even though I've tried it more than once. So yeah, that's my personal rankings, and it should be pretty reliable, I would say, if you're looking for some tips on which handicaps to pick.